Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. And this is just a series. In this series, we're gonna be learning how to use a map. So in this part, all we're gonna be basically learning is you can see the map in three different modes. Normal, which is just basically the political map. The satellite, <coughs> which is the satellite view. Excuse me. And then the hybrid, which is a com combination of both. So let's say we zoom in on the hybrid. Then it's gonna, let's see if we can see any streets. Looks like it doesn't want to focus. So basically hybrid would be showing streets. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is opening up Xcode as usual. And then we're going to create a new Xcode project. And we're just going to call it Maps. Maps Tutorial. That'd be a better name. And then I'm going to save it on my desktop, and this will be the project for our entire series. So the first thing we're going to do is drag in a map view. So if we do that, and then we get a segmented control, then we drag it here, and then we extend it to its max, move it down, and then we're going to go here, and the segments, we're going to up it to three. First one will be called normal, and then... Second one will be called satellite. And then the third one will be called hybrid. There we go. And then let's go to viewcontroller.swift. The first thing we have to do is type import map kit which will import the map kit module. Otherwise, we cannot use MK map kit. We, that means we can't define outlet. So we're gonna do IB outlet var map M MK, which stands for map kit, map view. And then we will have an IB outlet var for the segmented control. And that will be a UI segmented control. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an IB action for the segmented control. Which might seem weird because segmented controls don't really seem like they're supposed to have IB actions. But we're doing it in case the segment changed. That way we can detect if the segment changed, then we can change the map. So in here, we're gonna have a switch statement. Switch segmented dot selected segment index. And then case zero is the first one. We're gonna do map dot map type equals mk map type dot normal standard and then break then we're going to copy this statement paste it three times case one and case two then this one will be satellite and this one will be hybrid and the default is just break. And actually, we can add another one. We can add two more in case you wanted to do this. When I was seeing the autocorrect equals MK map type dot hybrid fly flyover. Let's try that. And then case four is for the satellite flyover. 
remember this will need a break let's see if they have a standard flyover nope they don't so I guess that's the end of the line so that means we're gonna have to add two more so Let's just do that. And then the last one will be hybrid. The best I can do. So now let's link everything up. And in fact, I'm gonna just add in the scale and the user location because I just want this to look cool. So map. This one will have a new referencing outlet. Did we define it out? Oh, dragged it to the wrong thing. Segmented control. And for value changed, it's going to be segment changed. Now let's try that out. So let's go to the simulator. And then... That's cool. Oh, it looks like we got them a little mixed up. So, one more thing. Add the missing constraints. Which is, then we're going to view controller. Looks like this one is case four, and this one is case three. And then we will run again. Here we go. Going, 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 loaded. So that looks more appropriate. Yep. So basically, this is just showing how you can change the style of the map through a segmented control. This is also basically a segmented control tutorial added into the maps because segmented controls are actually very useful. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe and like and hope for more videos in the future. So bye.